What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel where we talk everything health and wellness. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys five simple ways that you can save money right now. So if that sounds like something you want to know more about, be sure to stick around to the end of the video as I'll be showing you guys simple ways that you can do this. As always, remember to subscribe, click that bell so you get notifications every single time that a new video goes live as it really helps with the algorithm and helps us show up more in your feed. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys. So thank you for sticking around. Hopefully everybody is doing okay right now. Uh, as mentioned in some of the other videos, and unless you've been living under a rock for the past month and a half almost, uh, you know that we're in the middle of a global pandemic. And because of that, it can be very taxing or can cause some difficulties financially for you and your family. So I wanted to give you guys some simple ways that you could either put money back into your pockets or make that money that you have saved up last a little bit longer and stretch those dollars. Now, if you paid attention to the last video that I put up on finances, I talked a little bit about that $1,200 stimulus check that everybody probably should have gotten by now or most individuals should have gotten by now. And hopefully that helped. But unfortunately, still in the reality of things, almost 40% of Americans still do not have money in their savings account. And that could be for one of two reasons. Um, now, the first one could be that maybe you received the money and you had to pay bills or catch up on bills or buy groceries, and so that money is gone. Um, but you also have some that maybe didn't have an emergency fund before something like this hit, and as soon as that money dried up, well, now we're left with little to get by on a day-to-day -day basis. So what are some things that you guys can do to put money back into your pocket and help get through this stressful time? So the first thing you can do is to look at some of your insurance programs that you have, whether it's your auto, your home, or your life insurance program, and see if they're offering some sort of discount. Now, being that this pandemic is affecting everybody, most companies out there are offering a discount to their customers, and so call them up and see if you qualify for any of these. And speaking more specifically about your car insurance, well, most of us aren't going to many places right now. If you have multiple cars, call up your auto insurance company and see if you can put one of your cars as listed under storage it's gonna save you a lot of money on your monthly premium. And I know some of the auto insurance companies like Progressive, which I have, they're offering 20% back to their customers. Another thing that you could do is look at some of your subscription services that you're subscribed to. And I'm not talking about the ones that are probably saving your life right now, like your Netflix and Hulu and uh, things like that. But if you're not using them, now will be a good time to cancel them or put them on hiatus for a little while so that you can put that money back into your pocket. Also, if you have a gym membership, well, obviously here in Michigan, we can't go to the gym. So call them up and see if they're going to take out your monthly premium that you pay for a gym membership and see if you can put that on hold. I pay for a subscription to our local car wash, but they're not open either. So I called them up and said, hey, can we put this on hold for a little while just so I'm not paying for something that I'm not using. One of the next things I would do is look to save money on some of your essentials. So right now, if you have a mortgage that you're paying or maybe you're paying rent, uh, they may be offering assistance to either lower your monthly payment or to defer a payment. Now, here's something that I want people to keep in mind because the language is very important. You'll see a lot of programs out there that are offering forbearance and forbearance is the last thing that you wanna do. It's the last thing that you wanna be involved in. See if they will defer a payment or take a lesser payment this month but what forbearance does is it allows you to delay the payment but any interest it compounds over that period that you're not paying it and then at the end of forbearance you owe one lump sum of everything that hasn't been paid during that time so whether it's your utilities company whether it's your landlord or your mortgage company see if they'll help you during this difficult time but do not take a forbearance on these just see if you can defer some payments or maybe reduce the payment. Another thing that you can do is to make sure that you have a budget. I know I've talked about this in previous videos before, but more so than ever, it's very important to have a budget right now. Uh, you need to know where your dollars are going. I know some of the tools and resources that I've mentioned before that I use is I love mint.com or the mint app and Truebill. 
and it's just so helpful it makes things run so much smoother so take time out and create yourself a budget and the last tip that I'll give you is to save money I know this sounds self-explanatory, but it's very important to save money during a time of uncertainty. Ideally, you wanna have three to six months in a savings account. Make sure you're making all of your minimum payments right now, but any extra money that you have, set aside in a savings account. And if you can, put it in a high yield savings account. The nice thing about that is you're gonna be making money on the money that you put into the banks or your credit union, and you still wanna have access to it, but you also want your money to work for you if it can. Like I've mentioned before, right now, we don't know what things are gonna be like. We don't know how long we're gonna be confined to the house, and we don't know when people will be going back to work. So now is the time to hold on to as much money as you can, as that's really gonna to help to relieve some stress and anxiety that we might have during this difficult time. So that's all that I have for you guys. I wanna thank you guys for sticking around. As always, remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you get notifications every time that we go live with a new video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this information. And everyone stay healthy and please stay safe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.